Hello friends in this lecture we will discuss two topics so the first is body mass index what is body mass index it is simply weight in kilogram over height in meter square so this is the formula you have to remember body mass index ranges underweight if the patient is under 18.5 kg per meter square normal weight if it is between 18.5 to 25 kg meter square overweight if it is 25 to 30 kg per meter square and the patient will consider obese over 30 kg per meter square and remember that if it is over 30 it could be morbid obese so you have to remember these ranges and the formula plus units please give a special attention to the units of all the values so in body mass index simple questions came in exam for example a patient weight is 160 pounds and height is 4 feet 8 inches now they are asking what is right bmi so a is normal b is overweight C is obese D is morbid obese you have to calculate the bmi to answer this question however answer is d how we will solve it solution is first you have to uh, convert all the units into kilogram and meter square so one foot is one foot one foot is equals to 12 inches and here the patient is 14 feet so for uh, four feet is equals to 48 inches plus 8 inches is equals to 56 inches in total we already learned in our first lecture is that 1 meter is equals to 39.37 inches So one inch is equals to one over thirty nine point three seven meters, or fifty six inches divided by thirty nine point three seven. We will get one point four two two meters. Now, when you take the square of this value, you will get two point zero two two meter, because the height in BMI is meter square. Now, calculate weight. So one kg is equals to two point two pound. One pound is equals to one divided by two point two kg. The patient is one sixty pound. So one sixty divided by two point two, then it is seventy two point seven kg weight. Now put everything in the BMI formula. We will get. 35.96 which is close to 36 kg meter square so we decided that it is morbid obese next topic in this lecture is density or specific gravity now they will not ask the difference between density and specific gravity since they both have same formula so i put together you have to remember few things like density is weight by volume unit of density is gram per ml and remember that water density is 1 gram per ml other than water if there is other liquid or other substance they will either ask density or provide you density in question 
so just remember the formula and unit so a sample question is water is 1000 ml calculate its weight we know that the density of water is 1 gram per ml so uh, options are a 10 gram b 100 grams c 1000 grams answer is c so how solution density is equals to weight by volume density of water is 1 we have to calculate the weight and the volume they provided us is 1000 ml so we put the value now 1 into 1000 is equals to 1000 grams so simple question uh, in exam it will not be that simple but this is just for practice you have to check the unit for sure take care of units whatever you are putting in calculations one more example is ABC liquid and the volume given is 1 liter the density of the liquid is 1.2 what will be the weight a 1000 grams B 1200 grams C 2000 grams the answer is oh, D 2500 grams so the answer is B now we solve it so first we convert all the units to the required unit we need volume 1 liter is equals to 1000 ml now the density formula is weight by volume density given is 1.2 we have to calculate weight and the volume they gave us is 1000 ml put the value together 1.2 multiplied by 1000 is equals to 1200 grams so the simple answer is B and other example is XYZ substance whose weight is 900 grams the density they provided us is 0 0.9 gram per ml Now they are asking to calculate its volume and option A 1000 ml, option B 1200 ml, option C 900 ml, option D is 9000 ml. Answer is A, 1000 ml now how we solve it density is equals to weight by volume put the values so 0 0.9 density provided in the question weight is 100 grams and we want to figure out volume thus for volume 900 divided by 0 0.9 and we got the answer 1000 ml these are the simple questions that came in exam furthermore let me know in the comment that we have to move on to next topic or I was thinking to upload some practice questions for your practice for sample questions and you guys will Solve it and let me know how many of you got the right answer. But it depends on you. 
so please tell me in comments whether you want to move on further topics or you want one or two videos on some practice questions for now thanks for watching please share and subscribe and wait for the next video thank you bye bye